Hello everyone, my name is Ivy Smith. I'm 15 years old. This is my seventh year in 4-H and I'm a member of the Fantastic Futures 4-H Club. Hello, my name is Tolliver Smith. I'm 14 years old. This is my fifth year in 4-H and I'm a member of the Fantastic Futures 4-H Club. Yes, good job. All right, so today we're going to be talking about the three levels of the Insect Adventures Project. My favorite level is level three. I really enjoyed that act the activity on how um, art is related to entomology and we got to make a necklace out of an insect in a bottle cap. My necklace had a lace wing in it. So that was really cool. I wore it I to really, judging. I really enjoyed um, Insect Adventures 2 because that's where you get to learn to spread butterflies. That was a lot of fun. Awesome. All right. So um, the, the activity that we're going to do today is uh, Tolliver's going to show you how to pin an insect and I'm going to show you how to point one. So this is how you would display your insects in a collection in all three levels of the project. So the first step would be to collect your insects. Uh, we've done this already so there's uh, a whole bunch of insects in there. Oliver, you want to tell them what's in this? Oh, uh, it's alcohol. You can use like rubbing alcohol. Anything. So, so we have a glass bottle here but you can use a plastic one or any kind of container. So then, um, if you're pin pinning an insect, you can use any size insect. If you're pointing, that's for really small insects. So I'm going to find a super small one in here. Let's see. Tolliver, you want to pull your yeah, I'll go out? ahead and pull out a damselfly. Alright, an insect this small under a microscope. But um, I've done it quite a few times and can just put it on here. So yeah. I have a damselfly here. All right. So when you're pointing an uh, uh, insect, you take a a pin like this, and you put you just cut a small triangle out of construction paper, and then you can take a styrofoam cube like this, stick it right in there, and then just take Elmer's glue, and that's what we use to attach the fly onto the. So then when you're penning these guys, you want to hold them right side up, and then you want to pen on the right side of their thorax. Really small bugs. Yeah. Alright, and you're going to push down a little bit, and then you're going to take them over to your penning block, and you're going to put them on the top tier. shelf, yeah, tier, and push it all the way down until it hits. Pull them back up. All right, so to point an insect, you take your flagged pin and you dip the tip of it into the Elmer's glue. Then you're going to take a pair of tweezers and position your insect so that they are legs down right on the tip of the flags. Right, so we're just going to move this a little on so that he's nice and straight on there. Once you have um, your insect pinned, you can see there are three levels of this pinning block. So you pin your insect on the first and highest level. Then you're going to take your location um, label. So you can put all this information on one label. These are this. custom. Labels. These are these are custom labels. So we'll just cut one of these out. So Tolliver, do you want to tell them what the information that you would put on a label? You would put their scientific classification, which put information you would put on here would be your name, where you found it, when you found it, and scientific classification. Which for the damselfly it would be Amenoptera. And for the fly, it would be... Diptera. Yeah. All right. So we set that on the second step and poke it right through like that. And then it's and then the right at the light. Step right. would be used for if you had two separate cards. Or if you wanted to put the classification on a different card, if that's how you were organizing your collection. So my collection, actually both of our collections, are organized in by uh, scientific classification. 
All right, that's all. Wait, one more thing. What? You know why Fly is scared to land on a computer? Why? Because it's scared of the World Wide Web. All right, bye. Bye.